If you're keeping up with my RV travel adventures, I last left you arriving back in Florida, posted up in my favorite backyard, visiting friends, hitting the beach, and getting back to life as a snowbird. In today's video, I share part one of my Tour de Florida RV adventures from Clearwater to Venice, Florida, finding some great free places to park by the water, visiting the original owners of my RV, and joining my first drum circle. Greetings, I'm Queen Tasha and welcome to my channel, Queen Tasha TV, where I share my very unique and alternative lifestyle from RV life and travel adventures to DIYs, how-tos, healthy living, and sustainability. I want to put a young black face to alternative living and inspire those watching that it's okay to be different and live your own best life. Please subscribe and join me each week on my journey to live fearlessly free. Permanent home in my head. You moving like a goddess, come my way, my way, my way. Your hips on the move, only a real one can do what you do. I caught a body, but you was the shooter. Damn. Shot me down one time, one time. Wanna hug me down a long time. Funny how the love can change sometimes. So we say, hey, pack up a bag, I'm pulling up on you. Let me show you my world oh. She told me that I make her feel alive I can see the goodness in your eyes We can take a trip, just you and I Just you and I Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my Oh my, oh my Oh my, oh my flaca Tu cuerpo sacude como maraca Te miro y miro, so sub y baja Como en Caracas bailamos Del bajo y la caja y tú mi África Yo tu casino en América Quiero bambino contigo Te beso bien suave en el limón Another beach location, one of my favorite beaches, Gandhi And this time I got my own little private section Because I'm a queen But usually when I come over here, if you come over here too late All these like little in grove, little private sections Are already taken up But I was passing by and I seen two slots open So I came over but yeah, I can basically, there's my RV right there. And then, I got my own little private beach here. And the water's really warm and shallow. I love it. coming over here because he thought it would be a good idea to invade on my private beach does he see me filming him i don't know but i am <laughs> the rude boy over here i said oh yeah i see this purple rv i want to come park near it and be rude even though everybody else Who's got their own little thing? Ooh, this guy. Pira Vida. <laughs> Happiness. Happiness. We are in a new place today. Today I'm in a new spot, which is um, close to downtown St. Pete. And <laughs> I thought I stopped at both. And it's a, it's a public park, it's really nice. What a wonderful day. It's beautiful outside. It's sunny and warm. And I am at 
the beach again. <laughs> or not so much the beach, but waterside. in our water. I'm here just to work mainly, but yeah. work with the view. It's my motto. <laughs> but yeah, there's the purple palace back then and she's going to uh, be hanging out here for the day. Here we go. Just happened to park near Old Southwest Community Garden. <laughs> Let's grow together. Leasing information here. How cool is that? <laughs> I love St. Paint. Breezy out here. This feels good though. <laughs> it's not good when it's Chris Breezy and it's coming. But anyways, I was looking out my window and I noticed some people have their hammocks up and I was like, that's why these trees are so close together. And so I decided to come out and set up my hammock because like, when do I get a chance to use my hammock? There's trees close together, so I'm going to do that. Here we go. Sailboat Live. Look at them all anchored up. <laughs> they can just take that little boat over here. It's so awesome. To come into town. Cool little port town. Golf port. <laughs> and then you got the cool little bars.
Super cool. That's so cool. I love when I see people do this. Their yard. There's no reason why everybody shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> well, that's neat. This is super cool. seen some dolphins so I'm gonna put my camera on just in case we see some more dolphin sightings. I've seen them barely just because I always see dolphins and we communicate. Dolphins come back! I've just seen you. I want to show you to my subscribers because <laughs> they know how excited I get when I see dolphins. <laughs> Dolphins, come back. Where'd you go? I just seen you. Is this on snacks? I just seen them too. It was just right here. I don't know where they went. They what's up, what's up, what's up? It's been a minute since I've made a video talking about my travels. <laughs> um, look at the RV warm up before I head to my next spot. Um, I'm currently in the, um, I'm between St. Pete and Sarasota right now on the Skyway Bridge rest area pull off to the side of the road kind of thing. It's really cool. I, uh, got to, uh, overnight on the water, which hasn't happened yet in Florida. There's very few places where they allow you to overnight on the beach or by the water or whatever. You could go pull up. There's a couple great spots that I've pulled up and hang out for the day, but there's not a whole lot that I've come across yet. But I have not traveled so much in Florida, and that is the mission 
of this uh, time being in here, being doing my snowbird life. So um, I was at my friend Cammie's house uh, for two weeks and I left there and I've been doing like a little bit of week of wandering in between. I'm gonna be a, probably like a week of wander <laughs> in between uh, pit stops. Uh, my next pit stop is headed to uh, actually the previous owner of this RV um, who sold it to me, uh, invited me to come down to their place. And uh, so that's where I'm headed next, but I wanted to take a week to kind of just like boondock and, and chill and explore. Um, and yeah, so I just finished that up. And I'm f today is the first day of spring. Happy Vernal Equinox. Yes, the rebirth of life and all great things is happening now. Um, the plants are waking up, the animals are waking up, people are waking up. It's a good time to be alive, baby. <laughs> but anyways, so yeah, I'm about to head to my next little water spot and uh, hang out there for the day and hopefully night. And uh, I'm also getting a massage tonight, a well overdue massage. Um, and so I'm excited about that. I'm taking this weekend to do work and a little self-care, but I'm really just reevaluating who, who I am and how I treat myself um, and how I want to treat myself for this upcoming year. So anyways, about to hit the road. Thank you for listening. I'll see you on the road somewhere.
trying to get their Instagram handle so I can follow them on Instagram. Yo, I don't even want to know how long it took them to raise that shit, yo. But they put some things on the outside. That's pretty cool. William the William Scooby. William underscore Scooby. users help protect our turtle May 1st through October 31st. Oh, soon some turtles will be coming. <laughs> right now. I love this little jungle entrance to the beach. <laughs> this little bridge. <sighs> There's lots of trash. But they do a pretty good job of cleaning the or clean. People just suck. Like who's getting down there? They get they drunk. Like why? Why would you do that? How cool is this? What is that tree? I like this tree. It has those leaves. I don't know what it is. What are these trees right here? They're so pretty. I like trees. Identify plants or trees. They're so vibrant and pretty, especially this camera. challenge with La Gladys and you know there's a lot that goes into doing a challenge as something that's every day you know um, trying to have time management and make sure you fit everything in and you know it doesn't always go the way you planned so there were a few days at the end when I started traveling um, that made me miss a day definitely feel stronger as we were doing the exercises once we got into probably end of week two into week three I definitely was feeling more strong and being able to do uh, the exercises without as much struggle still hurt <laughs> and also my body was used to it so I wasn't getting sore anymore after each workout um, and overall you know it was cool. It was very convenient in the sense of like time only being 21 minutes. Um, it makes it be like, okay, yeah, let me knock out this. But then there's days where it's like, okay. For me, it's a little bit more challenging to do fitness challenges in my RV because I have very limited space as far as like angle and height. You know, I have a small little spread and I can't do some exercises in there, but I can't predict what each video is going to do and it limits what I can do as far as the exercise. So I prefer to work out outside like this, but that's not always a thing for me, depending on where I park. There's some places where I'm parking where I want to be discreet, so doing things outside is not a thing. Um, and then... Man, the last couple of days, it has been so breezy, like, and the setup that I need to have with the mat and the camera and the thing to watch the video and all that, it was just like, it was, so, it was too much, it was too much. I made it work in the way that I can, but I did have to skip a day because of that. We are done with the challenge. When I first met Susan and Gary back in Maryland, they had plans to move to Florida to retire and said that I could come visit them anytime. Susan was such a gracious host. She's a fellow sunset lover, so we drove out to the beach a few times to watch the sunset, and she captured some great photos of me.
good night. Susan also cooked me some delicious food, including my own apple pie, and Gary changed my oil, fixed some body damage on the RV, and helped me string up my new crossbow. Alright, we're going to put this together. Alright, first step. We hit the beach a few times because they like to collect shark's teeth and I like to people watch. They also told me about a drum circle at the beach that I had to check out.
It was a cute little uh, jumper. I like oh, that. I love it. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's all for this video of my tour to Florida. Shout out to Susan and Gary for hosting me and being such super dope humans. Stay tuned to part two when I head down to Fort Myers to volunteer on a farm with Wolf and do some life reflections at the beach. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Peace and blessings. I'm out.